high note for a wet weekend. The inaugural Walgal Arts Market was held at Queen Street Park today, attracting an impressive number of visitors despite the terrible weather. The new market, run by the Borbor Arts Alliance with the assistance of the Borbor Shire Council, seeks to raise the profile of local artists. Well, obviously gain recognition and exposure and tell the community that we're here and to promote the Arts Alliance as a whole. The market will run on the third Saturday of each month from October to March. However, October's market was cancelled due to poor weather. Eight of the 15 artists expected to attend today were able to work with the weather, but with a capacity for 50 stalls, Arts Alliance President Jesse McLennan is hoping for many more in the future. Oh, on, a, on an ideal day, we would have um, oh, no. capacity yeah. stalls, so yeah. representing yeah. stalls, yeah. artists yeah. in the whole of Baltimore yeah. Shire and, and beyond, yeah. um, and to have various uh, musical acts and um, performing arts, uh, uh, using the stage. This is the first regular market to be held in Warrigal for many years and seeks to create a more vibrant community and culture, improve the local economy through tourism and provide an outlet for local artists. There hasn't been anything like this in Warrigal for uh, a, a long time. I, I have, yeah. For as long as I've known, Warrigal hasn't had anything like this. So it's a first and this is um, a real celebration, even if it is raining today. The weather is unfortunate, but it hasn't been enough to put off hardcore arts fans. Well, I'm quite impressed, really, um, especially at the stockholders with the weather being like this. But I uh, haven't had a look around everywhere, but quite impressed. Well, I think there's a good representation of what we have in the community here, and I really admire them for being out in the weather. <laughs> As it's your time. Yeah. Yes, the status was going on our face changes, as you can see. And loving the weather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stalls are provided free of charge to community arts groups. William Coolidge for the Warwick Citizen.